Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if you are into home decor, home decorating all on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. So I want to thank everyone who has shown so much love and support to all of my previous videos. You guys, I greatly, greatly appreciate all your kind words and support. I mean, you guys just motivate me and I just absolutely love decorating. I love doing it on a budget. And I'm so glad that you guys love decorating on a budget just as much as I do and that my budget decorating has inspired you and helped you decorate your homes to help you save a little money. So thank you so, so much for all your support. So recently I asked you in a poll what you guys wanted to see. Did you want to see some fall um, decorating inspiration and ideas? Did you want to see some fall tablescapes? Did you want to see Christmas decorating, Christmas tablescapes? Um, clean and decorate with me. So a lot of you guys want to see clean and decorate with me. And so those will be coming up as we prep and get ready for the upcoming holiday. But today's video is going to be fall vignette inspiration. So I want to show you how you can take a few inexpensive items that you can thrift, pick up from the Goodwill, from the dollar store, from the Dollar Tree, and of course, home goods. <laughs> but you can take those items and put together a beautiful vignette to show classic fall, well, let's say not classic because we're not gonna be using pumpkins. Well, mm -mm, not a pumpkin, but a pumpkin candle. So. Yeah, enough rambling. Let me show you the items we're gonna be working with and let's start putting our vignettes together. So again, I hope you enjoy today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now let's get started. All right, so in today's video, I thought we would redecorate this area here in my family room. So, ooh, do you see my little collection that I'm starting to build? for my Grinch Candyland Christmas theme this year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So if you missed that video where I talked about my plans for this year's Christmas, I will leave it linked in the description box down below. Make sure you go check it out. It's gonna be a fun one. You don't wanna miss it. So, but today I thought we would do something a little different here on my console table behind my sofa. So this is how it's looked for, I don't know, the past couple of months, but I wanna switch it up. So that's what we're gonna do today. So if you are looking for some fall vignette decorating inspiration, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family, because today that is what we are going to be talking about. Budget-friendly fall vignettes all on a dime. You know, I love to get that luxe look for less. So today we're gonna to be playing around with some fall related decor that I've picked up while thrifting. Never sleep on your local thrift stores. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here are a few of the items that I've picked out for us to work with. I have this candle, I told you guys, that I wasn't gonna do like your traditional fall type decorating. Not a lot of pumpkins, but these are pumpkin candles. So I picked this up from Big Lots. It was $5. It's in a muted tone. It's a little dirty, I need to clean it. But it was in a muted tone, so I thought it would be perfect to work with. 
I also have this one. I think this came from the Dollar General. And again, it's like a pumpkin shape, so I thought we might be able to use that. And then this piece is actually a cover to a light that I found while thrifting. And I thought this would be cute. We could put like some fairy lights underneath it and create like a light effect. This was like, I wanna say less than a dollar uh, from the Salvation Army Restore. So never sleep on your Salvation Army Restore. So then we also have these florals that I showed you the other day that we didn't use. So I brought those out, as well as these really pretty gray ones. Um, these came from Michael's a few years ago. They were an after season clearance find. I'm sure these were like 70% off or 80% off. And then I have this bowl that I picked up from Pottery Barn, I think. And then I have these acorns and guys, oh my gosh, do I have something to show you? I think I'll show you in this video because I want you to get your hands on them. But anyway, so I have these and I'm thinking about using that. And then we have our vase that we picked up from CB2, no, Crate and Barrel. So yeah, those are the items I think we might be playing with. But again, Sorry for the quick turn. This is how the area currently looks. So let's see what we can figure out. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take everything off the table. So these vases are a DIY. If you missed that, um, these were inspired by something that I saw on Homebody with For Lisa. And these vases just came from the Goodwill and we did a quick DIY on them and they look so, so nice. However, I wanna change it up. I wanna bring in more of the fall burgundy color. So we're gonna take these off the table and all of these. So the first thing you wanna do is just have a clean slate. So take everything off the table. And these two vases I got from um, 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 TJ Home Goods several years ago. Price, they were on clearance. This was $12, but anyway, um, was it $12 or $21? No, $15, you guys know I can't see. Anyway, so they went with my color scheme. They might come back, but then again, they might not. So everything is cleaned off the table. Now we need to give it a quick clean. this coffee table several years ago from Overstock. Overstock is my go-to for inexpensive but nice looking furniture. So I've had this for several years and I absolutely love it. I love the glass detail. I did change out the knob to this crystal one. As you know, my theme is modern with a touch of glam. So that's how I do it. These little bookends, I absolutely love. I picked these up from Z Gallery, actually, for less money at Home Goods when they have them.
And I also have these little white foxes. Look at him, and he's so cute. I picked him up from Home Goods several years ago. He was $12.99, and I thought he was perfect for fall. As you guys know, I decorate in black and white. So I picked up two of these, and I leave them out year round, um, even though I got them during the fall time. So, so, so cute. So we're gonna go ahead and put him back. And I have one on either side. And my little grandson, when he comes over, he loves playing with them. Like they're part of his toy collection, which is so funny. All right, so we're gonna leave the bottom exactly the way it is. And then I have these DIY coffee table books that I made. We're gonna put those back. And if you missed that video, I will leave that linked as well in the description box in case you want to go check it out. So let me show you how the bottom looks. All right, so this is how the bottom is looking and I absolutely love it. Don't mind the scratches down here. I don't know what happened over there. Something happened, but no one will fess up to it. But yeah, I need to get a marker one of those furniture markers to cover that up. But this is how it looks here on the bottom shelf, and I absolutely love it. Now that we have the space cleaned off, I need to decide what I'm going to do. So, I could bring in this bowl and let it be simplistic. I could bring back in our candle holders, but put them on this side of the table. But then I need something to balance this side. So I could bring back our unique candle holder that we got from West Elm and let it be a simple look. But I think I need some florals in the center and not just pine cones. So let's bring out our vase. I think it needs some height too. So I'm gonna bring back our stack of coffee table books. Just because I like the white and black aesthetic. So we'll have that, and then we'll set our base here, and then we'll play around with the florals. So these are the florals we're gonna be playing around with. We have three stems. We'll bend these up. So this will bring in the maroon and burgundy colors over on this side so that it ties in with everything else. And already I'm loving that just pop of color. And we don't have very many, we only have three of these. So I'm gonna spread the branches out so it looks fuller than it is. So like that. And then we have more of these. So let's go ahead and add these in as well. I could get this raffia off. And 
may have to get the scissors on this one. Hold, please. Okay, so we have these finally open. So let's go ahead and add these in and see how we feel about this arrangement. You guys know I like to point these north, south, east, and west. But we only have north, east, and west, no south. All right, so how do we feel about this look? I think these are a little too long. So let's fold this a little more. So that's how that's looking. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how this vignette is looking, I think. I want to try to add a candle. Okay, so we're going to try to add this little pumpkin candle along with it and see how we like it. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Let's go ahead and light our candle. I think I need to charge the battery, so we're just gonna go to old school with it. There we go. All right, so I love the little candle, the little pumpkin candle. I think it goes well with the burgundy florals that we have here in the family room, as well as the ones we have over here in the kitchen. So, so cute. This is gonna be the vignette behind our sofa. Again, don't mind my little Grinchy people. We're working on our Christmas. And with that, let me show you some of the items that I picked up from the Goodwill before we get on to styling our next vignette. Okay, so I told you guys that I'm going to do a white and red Candyland with a Grinch Whoville theme, and I wanna do it in a very budget-friendly way. So with that in mind, I went out and I went to my local thrift stores looking for items that I could use in this theme that wouldn't cost me a lot of money. And guys, I think I did really, really well. So let me show you what I picked up. So we're going to start with my local St. Vincent de Paul. And I was in there and as soon as I walk in the door, I see this huge stocking. I mean, huge, look how big this is. 
Oh my gosh, huge. Look at it. Oh my gosh, like this is the foot area and this is the stocking area. <laughs> and it's in the traditional Christmas colors of red, white, and green. Now, I don't know where this came from, but it's massive. And I was able to snag this for only $4. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use this in my, my Christmas theme, but because it's in the red and white and green color, and it was only $4 and it looks like it's never been used, I just couldn't leave it in the store. So that's the first thing that I picked up. Now we're gonna go on to my local Goodwill. So I'm always on the hunt looking for inexpensive items that, you know, I can use to give me that luxe look for less. Pardon my glasses, guys. You know, you know I can't see. Your girl's gotta put her, her readers on, even with contacts. <laughs> so anyway, to go along with my theme, I wanna set a red and white tablescape, like a Candyland themed tablescape. Tablescape, so. All right, these were originally from World Market, if you can see that. Look at this, so, so nice. Perfect napkin to use for Christmas or to think outside the box. I could also use these as a placemat. So we just fold it a little bit, make it a little smaller, I could use it totally as a placemat. But I was able to find not one of these, but 10, 10 of these napkins. Guess what? The best part? These only cost me 59 cents a piece. Yes, just 59 cents. So again, can you see my coming together at a very budget-friendly cost? So to go along with that budget-friendly cost, I was also able to find this knitted piece here in red. It's the perfect red Christmas color. I really don't know what this is. I don't know if it was like a scarf or what it's supposed to be, but my idea for this would be to cut it on the seam and turn it into a table runner. So isn't that so cute? I could do so many things with this. I could turn it into a table runner. I could make something uh, like a DIY out of it. So, so pretty again. 59 cents and I don't know if you can see that but it has like little metallic silver threads running through it perfect for my white and red peppermint theme to go along with that I was also able to find this vase it's mercury glass inside and red on the outside. The best part, it was $2.99, and I think it is just perfect to use for my Candyland theme. I can make a floral arrangement and stick it in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys know I'm excited. If you missed the video, oh, sorry. If you missed the video from a couple of days ago, I gave you my ideas behind my Grinch Candyland theme. So, yeah, when I was at the Goodwill, I was looking for something that I could use that would be quick and easy to make faux candy. So, I ran across this. This is a sheet, or not a sheet, a pillowcase. Again, think outside the box. We can use this as material cut it down, take some of those pool noodles that you see at the Dollar Tree, put them together, wrap this fabric around them, tie it off on each end to make little candies. Oh my gosh. And this only cost us 59 cents. And if I cut this into four, I can get at least four pieces of candy out of this. So again, think outside the box while you're out thrifting. And to continue with our Think Outside the Box theme, I found this scarf, red and white, in our Candyland theme. So again, I'm thinking fabric here, so I can cut this 
and fold it again in half like so and get at least four to six pieces of peppermint candy out of this one. So, so cute. Again, 59 cents. So guys, when you are out and you were trying to save money and you wanna get the Lux look for less, think outside the box. Look at things with new eyes. This is a scarf that we're gonna turn into candy. Like, it's a no-brainer, right? For 59 cents. So then, also, to go along with that, because we're doing a Grinchy Whoville, I found this scarf, and you know how the Who's are always walking around, and they have these col colorful scarves around their necks? Well, hey, I can take this, cut it into several different pieces, I can make this candy, I can make this scarves for around the Who's necks, oh my gosh, guys. So many things. I told you we're gonna be doing a ton of DIYs. So get ready for it, guys. If you love a good DIY, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Are you excited to see how I am going to put my Candyland theme together, my Grinch Whoville Christmas, how I'm gonna put it all together on a budget? Well, make sure you subscribe, tap the notification bell, become a member of the family so you don't miss any of those videos. But again, 59 cents and you can't go wrong. Now, this piece I saw, I originally saw this red vase that looked like something you probably would have found at like Pottery Barn, not Pottery Barn, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I didn't take a photo, I wish I had. But the more I looked at it, the more it just wasn't, it wasn't giving me the vibe that I wanted. But then I saw these. Look at these, these are so cute. So I figure I can use these along with this on my table, red and white. This is actually silver, but can you see it? They go well together. Or I could also paint these red. So leave the inside silver, it's kind of iridescent if you can see that, and have the outside red or just leave it silver the way it is and do a very pretty centerpiece for my Christmas tablescape. So guys, I was able to find five of those. I wish I would have had six, but I was only able to find five and I'm trying to find one with a price on it. And here you go. They were only 99 cents. So, so, so nice. And I could have sworn some of them said 59 cents. But again, you know, I can't see, so yeah. They're all 99, but look, so pretty. And I think these would be perfect. I don't know where these came from, but I think they're perfect for a Christmas tablescape. Or I could use them for fall. They're very neutral pieces. So always keep your eye out for things that you can use year round. So those were the items that I picked up from the Goodwill. Now, also, I wanna share with you some items that I found at the Dollar General. I was watching a video with Auntie Cuckoo. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she used to do a lot of Target Dollar Spot videos. Now she does just a lot of stores in general, but she showed Christmas at the Dollar General, guys. Oh my gosh. Do not sleep on Dollar General. I tell you guys all the time, don't sleep on your dollar stores. So I went to my local dollar store and I found some really, really nice pieces. Um, one being this canister that was $3 that says Mrs. Claus's Bake Shop, and it has the little gold thing on the, the little handle on the top, and I thought this was so cute and would be perfect for my Candyland theme, and I can put this in the kitchen. Love, love, love this. So I picked that up for $3, and guys, wait until you see these. You hear the bells? Jingle, jingle, jingle. So this is what I found. Look at this, isn't this so nice? 
And I figure for my Grinchy theme, I could have little elves running around. <laughs> Why not, right? Guess how much this was. So this looks like a velvet material, shiny with little bells. It looks high end, right? It only cost a dollar. One dollar. Oh my gosh. So I found the green one and I found the red one. Look how cute these are. For a dollar, guys. Again, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really luxe look for Christmas. Look at that. So, so nice. So high end. Absolutely love them. I picked up several. I think it's like four of one and five of the other. I picked up all they had. And then to go along with the red and white theme for our kitchen, I found these kitchen towels. There's four or, or hands. What are these? dish cloths, four of them for $3. So less than a dollar a piece. Candyland, here we come. So, so nice. And then I also found some more ribbon and I figured this would look cute in the kitchen and my Candyland theme, so, so pretty. So we're gonna have the Candyland in the kitchen and I'm trying to figure out how I want it to flow. You'll have to subscribe to see, but just know that there will be candy in the kitchen. And my boyfriend was like, oh my gosh. And I, I told him I was going to do some gingerbread houses. He's like, ooh, do I get to eat it after? I was like, um, no, I'm making them out of cardboard. <laughs> and he was so disappointed. So I might have to cook him um, or make him a gingerbread house to eat. But I found this really pretty ribbon. It says Merry Christmas again in our red and white theme, and again, $1. So do not sleep on the Dollar General. So that's everything that I picked up from the Dollar General. Again, very budget friendly. So if you haven't, make sure you go check out your local Dollar General and your Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me show you what I found at the Dollar Tree. And then, and then we'll get back to our vignettes. But I absolutely have to show you, so make sure you keep watching. Okay, are you ready? This is high end. High end, guys. And you would think that this item cost way more than $1.25. And it's this. Look how pretty this is. You can see it does have glitter on it, so you will have to spray it. But look how large this is. It looks like it's like as big as my head. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And it only cost $1.25. I picked up six of these. I could not leave them in the store. Can you see these on a tablescape together? Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. And the best part, They come in red. Look at that, it's so pretty. So this one has glitter, this one does not. So I'm thinking about adding some glitter, but I'm not sure. But look how pretty these will be together. Oh my gosh, and they look so high end. So make sure you run to your local Dollar Tree. See if they have these really pretty pine cones. These are perfect for the holidays and they come in red, white, and they did have gold. There was only one gold one and it had glitter on it, but I'm not doing gold this year, so I didn't pick those up. But those were the three colors I saw, red, white, and gold. So if you love a high-end look for less, you can't go wrong for $1.25. Yes, please, and thank you. So there's that. I'm gonna show you two more things and then we'll get back to our vignettes. I'm sorry guys, I was just so excited, but I had to show you. And when things are put out at the Dollar Tree, you better jump on them because people snag them up quick. So one of the other things that I picked up that I thought would be really good for our Candyland theme in our Grinchville, Grinch Whoville theme were these candy canes. Look at these, oh my gosh. So this one, red and white. I could take all of this stuff off, guys, 
and just leave it red and white as it is. Or leave these on. I don't know. I might leave them on. I might not. But look, they're so cute. So I picked up six of each and I felt like I could put these in my tree and because they're large, they'll take up quite a bit of space so I won't have to use as many ornaments. So again, a tip, go for larger size items to take up surface space on your tree. So that way you don't have to buy a lot of the expensive items. You can use a bunch of the little ones, not a bunch, because again, we're trying to do this on a budget to get that looks look for less. But you know what I mean? Like these will take up a lot of surface space. I wanna say these are at least 12 to 14 inches. So perfect buy. And can you see, perfect for our theme. Okay. So that's all I'm gonna show you. I did get quite a few of these, six of each, like I said. But again, I think very budget friendly when compared to some of your high-end stores. Again, we're getting that luxe look for less. So now back to our vignettes. All right, so this is how our vignette is currently looking here in the lounge, but I want to change it up. So we're going to take these items away. This was more of a Halloween type look mixed with fall. Now we're going to go for an all fall vignette. So let's put that together. All right, so we're going to take everything off the table. And You guys know my angel wings stay on the table year round. I never take them off. Okay, so for this look, I think I want to bring in, hold on. Okay, for this look, I wanna bring in a black vase. So I have this one that we DIY'd. It has the baking soda paint mixture on it so I brought this as an option then I also have this one that I picked up from home goods it was $25 and I also have these really really pretty florals that I picked up from home goods these were $9.99 a piece and look how pretty these are. So you guys know I did the decorating series, how to bring warmth into your home for fall. And I said for this room, I wasn't gonna bring any brass or fall colored items in, but guys, just look, I think it will look pretty. So we're gonna try it out. And I also have our brass tray from Hearth and Hand. I have this little acorn came from Home Goods. It was $6.99 from several years ago. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive now. So we could do something simple with the acorn. Well, let's see. I'm gonna do the brass and the gold. And I also have this little animal. I don't know that we would use him, but we shall see. Okay, so let's untie these. Okay. 
and then pop this tag off. Okay, so, so pretty. Love these. So let's make this a little bit smaller. And stick it down in our base. And three came in a bundle, so these were like $3.33 a piece. Very budget friendly. And we'll have our other one here in the center. It's just a little long. I'll bend it a little bit more. Here we go. So that's how that is looking. It's so pretty. Look at that. Okay. So we have that and we could bring in our, where did you come? This came from Big Lots. It was $5. Let me get some scissors. Okay. So we can use him here and then tie in some of these vase fillers that we had from the Target Dollar Spot. And I think that looks cute. Let's take a closer look. So this is how our vignette is looking here on the coffee table. I think perfect for fall. The little acorn ties in really nicely with the color of these little branches. Again, these were $9.99 from Home Goods. So if you like these, go to your nearest store to see if you can find them. And I think they pair really well because this color also matches our glasses up here so very 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 nice absolutely love this look so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this simple fall vignette all right so the last vignette i think we're going to create i'm going to change out this spot so this is how it's currently looking i like it but I also want to try to use more of those branches that we picked up from Home Goods. So let's see what we can come up with. All right, guys. So change up to change up the look of this vignette. I'm thinking I might use this vase to replace this gold one that we have. So we'll take that out for now, and we'll put this one back here and then we'll add in these really pretty rose gold colored stems and you guys know I'm just doing the warm brassy tones but you can also mix metals and that is what we are going to do here Spread these out a little so they branch out, give them some depth and life. We don't want them to be flat, we want them to have some character. And I'm just loving this color against the black. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! So, so pretty. All right, so we have that. And I think to go along with that, I'm gonna add in our Goodwill find and we're gonna use some of these twinkle lights. Although these aren't twinkling. <laughs> but you get the idea of how these would look 
if they were twinkling on the table. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? So it's saying fall to me without actually saying fall. What do you think? I like it. So maybe if we put this candle down here with it to create that little vignette, or let's just say we take these off all together. And we just have our books. We put our candle here and then our twinkle lights here. And then we have this look. Absolutely love it. So very simple, simplistic, but again, very elegant at the same time. And it says fall without of all the kitschiness. So let's take a closer look. So this is how it looks and I must say I absolutely love it again it's very simple but it is saying fall without all of the kitschiness and I think these really pretty rose gold leaves do the trick absolutely perfectly it pops so well against the black and you know black is one of my signature colors so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this fall vignette. I absolutely love it and I hope you do as well. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and it has given you some inspiration on how to create fall vignettes all on a budget. Again, these came from Hobby Lobby, or hot, not Hobby Lobby, they came from Home Goods. They were $9.99 three stems so three dollars and 33 cents very budget friendly but gives us a high-end look vase came from home goods it was 25 dollars 24.99 to be exact so very budget friendly our little um seated glass thing here i think it's a light but we picked it up from the salvation army restore for less than a dollar we paired with it some fairy lights. And again, it's giving us a high-end look on a budget. And we paired it with this amber candle from Target. It was $10, again, very friendly. And our coffee table book. So a perfect vignette. And I absolutely love the simplicity and the color. So if you have enjoyed today's video, again, and it has inspired you, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I have lots of Christmas DIYs and home decorating coming up that I think you will enjoy. You guys know I am doing a Christmas candy land with red and white and a Grinch Whoville Christmas. They're gonna pair well together. They're going to pair very well together, I think. So if you are interested to see how it's all going to come together and how it turns out, make sure you hit the subscribe button, become a part of the iStyle My Style family. So let's take one last look at the vignettes and I hope to see you in the next one. If we want it, we could add back in these candle holders from Z Gallery. And again, it's giving fall vibes without all of the kitschy fall so very just elegant to me and sophisticated and i hope you agree mm -hmm.